Hello friends. So today we can discuss the third problem from the latest Court Forces Round 693 problem name Long Jumps. So in this problem statement, it's given to you that you have some array A and the size of that array, and then you can choose any starting point. Like you can choose any index as a starting point, and then what you'll do, you have to find out from any index what you'll do. You'll do a jump of the size of this value written on that like position. It means that you'll do a jump of size seven, and if you do a jump of size seven, it means that if you are on the zeroth index, you'll go to the like seventh index now. If seventh index is out of bound, then your game ends at that point. If it's in bound, then the total score will be the like what is the total jump size? As you can see, you have done a total of jump size of like total of seven. So the answer is seven for this case. If you start from this, you'll do a jump to this point. So the, the total jump at the first point is three, but now you are still inbound, and from three you'll do another one more jump. But because you have done two jumps, the total jump summation is three plus three, which is six, and now you go out of bound, and thus you'll do it from every position, find out if you go out of bound. Uh, before that, how many jumps you have done, the total summation of all those jumps, you have to find out the maximum among all of them. Now, you can easily see in this problem is. That for every index, if I like somehow land on this index, I know that from this index, how much total jump I will do if I land on this index. Same for this and same for this. It's like a DP problem now, because if you like iterate from right to left, for every index you know that if I land from some left to this index, then from this index I'll go how much to the right. Like I will know how much jump I'll do. So I'll take you to the some example to even make it more clear. Seven three, uh, seven three one two three, one two three. So what you'll do for every index, starting from right to left, store. If I start from this index, what will be the maximum jump I can do? Like what is the maximum value? For three, the answer is three only because if I take from the last index, I'll do a jump of size three, then I'll go out of bound. From the from this last also, as you can see. Because it's two, the total jump will be of two, and I'll go out of bounds. So the answer will be two here. Now from this, the total jump I will do is of size one. So one plus this value. Because if I go to this point, now I'll know how much total jump I'll do if I reach this point. Because see, if I reach this point, I'll go out of bounds. So how many jump I will do? Two plus one, and this value is stored here only. So any value is the current value plus. How much jump I'll there? That position value. So the total of this is three. Then for this three, I'll know that the total jump from this I'll go to this point, and from this point I'll know the journey because I have computed for this point. I've computed the all the answers on the right. So for every point I have to I have computed and stored the answers. So for every point the answer is actually the current value plus the value on this index, which is this. Because this value will tell tell us if I start from this point, how many jumps I'll do, and to reach that point, I have done like I have done this jump, and thus the total for this is three plus three, which is six, and for this the total is seven. Uh, as you can see, yeah. So the output for this is seven, which is the maximum. So you have to find out the maximum of all of them, and that's the answer. I hope you understand the like the logic part. I'll do the code part now. It's also very simple. So. I think so. I have not. So as you can see, uh, this is the vector for inputting all the values. This is vector for storing out all the values of the DP values. This is the maximum because whenever I'm filling the DP, like this is B is actually DP array, and whenever I'm filling out, we have to find out the maximum among all of them. You can fill the whole array and then find out the maximum, or you can find out the maximum while you are filling. It's both the things are same. So what I've done here is. Uh, iterate from right to left, and uh, we have to find out the total value for the current point. The total is you have to add the ei of the current value because the the jump is the current value plus the point where you reach. Sorry, so the the current value plus the point you'll reach, but the point should be inbound. So the point you'll reach is i plus ei. So if this value is inbound, which is less than n, then you'll add total to this value a of this value. This the, this is a new index. I plus AI, and if this value is inbound, then only you can add it to total, and then this total value is inserted into A of I. 
because we are storing these dp values and you are also finding out the maximum among, among all the ai values which i have told you because you have to find out the maximum among all of them you can find out the maximum in the end also just do a for loop also but this is also fine and then just, just return out the maximum among all of them and i hope you understand the logic and the code for this all the codes will be in the description go check them out and also try it out on your own i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye